everyone. As you know, I'm Claire and this is my husband, Tim. And that means, Tim in a video, it means it's time for another Tudor History Challenge. Yay! We've reached 65,000 65,000, so thank you to everybody. Yeah, a huge thank you to all those of you who have clicked on subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And if you haven't clicked on subscribe, then please do consider doing it. It really, really does help uh, other people find the channel. I've got lots of dogs sort of pattering around in the background here. So to celebrate reaching 65,000 subscribers, Yay. I'm quizzing the good old husband on Tudor history. We've now had a cat join us as well. Now, Tim didn't watch the um, the recent Stars series, I Becoming didn't. Elizabeth. He hasn't got a clue what's coming out of here. But he did film all of my videos on it. So he heard the information that I was sharing. <laughs> so did any of that go into his head? Was he listening? No, hope. Did he take it in? I've got a clipboard here with a test view. Go for it. So let's see, you know, how much of that information actually went in. I have 13 questions. Okay. And I think if I worked Teasel's out Teasel's just right, here. Oh, yeah, lift Teasel up. Come She's to just give me a supervising. Hand. She's supervising. Um, I think if I've calculated it right, she loves ears and chins. Um, there are 15 points up for grabs. So, are you ready? And I'm, there's no cheating. She knows the answers. Number one. This one is easy to lull you into a false sense of security. God. Who were Elizabeth I's parents? And there's two points for this. Oh, this you is name a good one. Both of them. <laughs> I may get two points in today's quiz. Henry the Eighth and Anne Boleyn. Well done. Yay! So two points. I would have been horrified. Oh, well, that would be bad. Yeah. <laughs> We're going all all. Yeah, we've had to turn off all the fans, and it's uh, in the thirties here Celsius, so it's rather hot. Okay. Okay. The heat might affect your brain here. It might add a little. I could brain. use that as an excuse, maybe. Okay. Number two. In which year did Elizabeth's father, Henry VIII, as you know, die? Ooh. One point. Fifteen. Uh -huh. Can I have half a point for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. 1547. Ooh, yeah. Well done. Hey, I've okay. learned something. Number three. Number three. How old was her half brother Edward when he became king? Oh. Which obviously he did in 1547 when his father died. Yeah. Uh, We're going to look so shiny. We're right terrible, now. yeah. Oh, we <laughs> apologise. Nothing we can apologize do about for it. The sweat. <laughs> There's no filter on the video no. software that no. I can do to fix that. Um, that didn't help me though. Um, 11. Years oh. old. He was nine. Okay. That's pretty young. Yeah, very. Number four. Who were, there's two points for this, the two leaders of Edward VI's government during his reign? One of them as Lord Protector and the other as Lord President of his council. So Edward never actually kind of ruled himself. He had two leaders of his government because he was in this his minority. This is hard now. Do you know the answer to that? I don't. Uh, well, seeing as I've mentioned them countless times Ed during those videos. Edward Seymour. Yeah, that's one. Do I get a point for that? Yeah, there's two points up for grabs. That's good. And Thomas Howard. <laughs> no? This man's one of my very favourite Shooter characters. But uh, no, no, you've, you've said it now, so no, no. so you get one point. Who's the other one? John Dudley. John Dudley. Duke of Northumberland. Okay. Number five. Whose household did Elizabeth join following her father's death? Who did she go and live with? Uh, yeah. Uh... Who did she go and live with? I'm actually not going to be able to give you an answer to that question. Oh, for goodness sake. It was the whole of that, well, no, first few episodes of the series. Seymour. She was living with this person. Somebody Seymour. 
Catherine Parr. Catherine Parr. Oh, okay. She went to live with her with her stepmother. Now we've got a washing machine in the background. I we haven't fine. planned this very well. No, have we, we can. That sound will go away. That's fine. <laughs> Number six. During her time with Catherine Parr. If you'd done his questions the other way around, well, yeah, I would have been okay. Well, yeah. Thomas Seymour behaved very inappropriately with Elizabeth. Yes. Inappropriately being a bit of a euphemism here. Yes. What did he do to Elizabeth while her stepmother, Catherine, held her? Well, no, I know this because it doesn't involve dates and you know how I'm terribly, yeah. Yeah. really bad at dates. And I shouldn't even say that because now the next yeah, question is you'll probably. put dates in. He, she held him, her. her Catherine held Catherine her. Catherine held her and he slashed her dress with a knife. Yeah, into... A hundred pieces. pieces. Yes. That doesn't seem like a great thing to do. No. Okay, well done. Yeah. Number seven. Okay. Catherine eventually sent Elizabeth away from her household to live with this courtier and his wife. Norfolk. To uh, chess hunt. uh, Norfolk, the Duke of Norfolk. Duke of Norfolk. No. No? No. No. Sir Anthony Denny and his oh, wife, Joan. Okay. So, there you go. Why am I giving you a point? Oh, I, oh. How are you doing? I'm doing terribly. I keep oh. giving you points by accident. <laughs> I'll take them. So, okay. Um, this ward, this is number eight. This ward of Thomas Seymour also lived in Catherine Parr's household. So this joint household, Catherine, because she married Thomas Seymour, and Thomas Seymour's ward came to live with them and ended up having some classes with Elizabeth as well, being educated. These questions are too hard for me. Jane. Jane Dormer. Jane Seymour. Lady Jane Grey. Lady Jane. I'm, I'm not even giving I didn't even know that. Jane, <laughs> no, don't give me a point for Jane. Jane. You got that. Nope. No. That's okay. interesting. It goes to show that when he videos me, he's not actually listening. <laughs> Number nine. Mm-hmm. And people will, will tell me off now for being nasty to you. I Please do. Someone In your comments. Someone got really angry with me for... Um, How nasty is Claire to Tim? Yeah, for being nasty to you. I'm far too kind. Mm. Number nine. After Thomas Seymour's arrest... This governess of Elizabeth was arrested and interrogated. So who was her governess? And I don't know how many times I've talked to you about the confession of this person. <laughs> I can only Jane? No, she wasn't called Jane. She wasn't a Jane. <laughs> she wasn't a Jane. <laughs> no, I don't know. Cat Ashley. Oh, OK. Catherine Ashley or Catherine Astley. Because you know, you hear about all these people. You do? You do. Uh, uh... No. So you haven't got a hope with the next one. Number no, 10. I really haven't got hope with in any of these In real questions. life, and this person wasn't shown in the series, Elizabeth Coffra was also arrested and interrogated. Oh, I really haven't a got confession. a clue. What was his name? Thomas. Well, yeah, he was actually. <laughs> that really, like, they're all called Thomas, Edward or Henry or John, aren't they? Thomas the Coffra. Thomas the Coffra. Thomas Parry, and I'm not even giving you half a point because they're far too You're in First names don't count. Okay, number 11. Okay. This Truth is more easier one. or false. Oh, I like that. <laughs> I'm giving you some hope here. True or false, Elizabeth was arrested and taken to the Tower of London. Yes, she was. It's true. No, she wasn't. <laughs> not at this time. At all. <laughs> no, I'm not talking. I'm talking oh, about... Oh, come on. No, no, not during this phase. But, later. So she was? No, about eight years later. Seven years later. No. Okay. We're talking about when Thomas Parry and Kat Ashley were... No, she was simply interrogated at home. Okay. okay. Number 12. In 1550... Okay. okay Elizabeth's friend, Robert Dudley... Yes. Married this young woman. I know this one. I now I've said that. Now I have to get the right answer. Yeah. Uh, how do you pronounce it? Letice Knollis. Letice Knollis. You don't know it at all. I he don't... married her like 
years, decades later. He got married to her? In, I said in 1550. I don't know when he got married to her. When did he get married to her? Oh. I can't remember the date, but it was decades later. I don't know then. He was still married to Letice when he died in 1588. Okay. So you don't know who? No. Amy Robsart. Oh, okay. <sighs> Number 13. The last question. True or false? How are you doing? I'm not doing very well. Edward VI and his government arranged a marriage between Elizabeth and Prince Frederick of Denmark. That sounds like that would be a good arrangement. So, I'm going to say true. False. <laughs> It so happened cruel. in the series, but it didn't happen in real life. <laughs> oh, you're so cruel. So, let's do some maths now. About four. Two, three, four, five. Five. Five out of 15. Five. I think that's right. Out of 15. Did you do any better than The me? ones you got right were Elizabeth's parents, 1547 for the date of Henry's death. You got one of the leaders of Edward's government. And you got the uh, gown slashing incident. So oh, they were difficult questions. Yeah, you're and sweating I, profusely. Cause I asked you for easy questions. They were not easy questions. They were because how many videos did I do on becoming Elizabeth? Where you from? Eight, the... and I edited every single so one. So that of person them. that thinks I'm really cruel to you is going to leave a comment saying that I enjoy. Making fun of you. I think you do. <laughs> I think I do. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for subscribing. Yeah, it's it's really lovely to know that there are that many people that are um, interested in watching my videos, and uh, we like to have a lot of fun with these Tudor history challenges, don't we? It's because you put Teasel down, and she could have helped. She could have helped me. She was ready, yeah, all ready yeah. to help me. Now she's gone to sleep. <laughs> I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.